On this episode of Zoo Tours, it's our first look at the Maryland Zoo. After walking a third of a mile through the old main valley, one of the first things inside is the Polar Bear Watch. At the time, their first major addition in 10 years, built in 2003 to give their furry friends a better life and forget about the not-so-exceptional past, which played a role in both modernizing and ultimately helping the zoo out of financial trouble. Using just $7 million, several human elements that can be found out in the wild were placed to create a depiction of Churchill, Canada, the polar bear capital of the world. But of course, bears weren't the only ones added to this acre-large Arctic expedition. First up, a simple aviary, first home to snowy owls, is inhabited by a common raven, though they weren't exactly visible on our visit. But that's okay, because the stars of the attraction were out and about. This day, the left side contained Nova and Nita, rescued grizzlies that were found orphaned in Montana. And next door, after waiting 40 minutes, we finally got to see their polar bears, the largest predators that walk the earth, built to survive on the frozen ice insulated by two dense layers of fur and an additional four inch layer of blubber. This area once displayed magnet, considered an icon to the city, but you may recognize the name because he was actually featured as an adoptable animal in the first Zoo Tycoon. The polar bear watch now has Amelia Gray and Neva, half sisters from Columbus. They were only two of three polar bears born at a North American facility in 2016 and debuted in Baltimore two years later. The bears rotate between two habitats, both designed to mirror the coastal shores where the ice bears forage for food. The left side, though smaller, can give you a more intimate, clearer look from the ground level view along with the underwater viewing station. The right side, though lacking that underwater perspective, is more lush and natural as opposed to the usual rocky substrate you typically find in other bear habitats. It also has an Inuksha, an Inuit structure used as a navigator to indicate travel routes. But in this case, I hear it's used as a back scratcher. The exhibits are separated by the Tundra Buggy, an authentic 25-ton vehicle that are often used to drive tourists out on the icy tundra to observe polar bears in their native range. And to enhance this immersive experience, you can walk through this and observe the bears from either side. The last on the trail has something in common with the brown bears. They were an animal in need. Vega the bald eagle, a female found in North Carolina with a wing injury. Though rehabilitated and placed back in the wild, she still had some trouble on her own and was deemed unreleasable and found a home here in 2014. Though already displayed in this area, she was moved to fill the spot of their recently deceased Arctic Fox. Surprisingly small and quick to go through, but one of the few places that actually fulfills most of a polar bear's needs and an exciting way to introduce the Maryland Zoo on Zoo Tours.